So, what are the points of action and reflection? For the action and reflection about today's session, I would like to point out three realms of the reality, three levels of the reality as conceptualized in the yogic tradition. These are adhibhautik, adhidaivik and adhyatmi. Adhibhautik is physical realm. It is experienced from various objects created from five great cosmic elements. We discuss those five elements. Adhidaivik is the experience arising from supernatural power, larger systemic order. We can consider universe as grand intelligent system. So, we can call it uh, in the earlier days, we used to uh, uh, assign some deities. Uh, some supernatural powers like Jal De Varun Dev or Agni Dev etcetera to, uh, to represent the divine, to represent the Adhidaivik. In the modern language, we can say there is a universal intelligence, there is a larger systemic intelligence which is operating uh, different uh, larger natural systems. So, that is Adhidaivik and Adhyatmik, that is experience within self, that is experience of inner harmony, inner peace, inner calmness. So, if we look at the yogic tradition, positive characteristics like Daivi Sampada, positive events like Yajna, positive institutions like marriage and Patshala, positive governance as we explained just now, we will see in all these aspects Adhidaivik, Adhyatmik and Adhibhautik are considered in harmony with each other. So, in the yajna, there are physical activities and those physical activities has coherence with the psychological activities and those have coherence with the spiritual experience. All these are beautifully explained in the Karya Karan Bhav uh, of the book which is uh, depicted here. There is another book which can be useful to understand these concepts in more contemporary scientific terms. This is the book by Kane Wilbur titled I to I. In I to I, Cain Wilbur says that reality can be looked at through three eyes. Which are those three eyes? These are eye of flesh, which is these physical eyes, eyes of mind, which is more psychological uh, understanding, deeper cognitive understanding and eye of spirit, which is spiritual experience and spiritual understanding. While observing something, we should be conscious of the interpretation, if it is done by eye of flesh, eye of mind or eye of spirit. Different phenomena can be explained by these three eyes and same phenomena can be also explained by these three eyes, but it is important to maintain that distinction, so that we do not confuse eye of spirit with eye of mind or eye of flesh. That means, we can look at a phenomena from all these adhibhautik, adhidaivik and adhyatmic angles, but we should not confuse adhyatmic with adhibhautik and adhidaivik and vice versa. We need to have the distinct understanding of these three realms. In the yogic perspective of the positive life, we see that all these events and the uh, positive elements have all these three elements integrated in it and that is why we say yogic tradition is one of the most integrated and cohesive tradition of the world. This can be realized at cognitive level, at emotional level, at level of action and at the level of life energies. F arising from these three realms, arising from these realms of the individual experience, we can see major forms of yoga have arrived 
and major forms of yoga have evolved. So, Bhakti Yoga is related to surrender to embodied form of supreme that primarily operates at the realm of emotions. Jnana Yoga primarily takes help of intellect. So, for the Jnana Yogi, Shravan that is listening, Manan that is understanding, Nididhyasana that is implementing those things in our behavior, these three things are the basis of the Jnana Yoga. Karma Yoga primarily takes help of our action that is also called conator level in the modern psychology. Karma Yoga primarily operates on the Swadharma and Loka Sangra. So, following Karma Yoga means following Swadharma. Swadharma meaning find a, finding out what is your true calling and Loka Sangra that is offering your aptitude, offering your competency for the well being for all that is Loka Sangra. And uh, it can also be realized through Raja Yoga, Kriya Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Ashtang Yoga, which is perhaps the most popular form of yoga that has Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pratyahar, Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi. So, different aspect of life which is Adhibhautik, Adhidevik and Adhyatmik can be integrated and can be experienced. In all these four yogas, these four yogas are originated from the different aspects of human self. What are those aspects? Those aspects are emotions from where Bhakti Yoga operates, cognition from where Jnana Yoga operates, action from where Karma Yoga operates and energy, the experience of energy at where Raj Yoga or Ashtanga Yoga or Hatha Yoga operates. So, Yoga emphasizes different aspects such as finding ultimate reality, individual and societal enhancement learning how to isolate past, present and future and that is what we looked at in various positive aspects of yoga in last three sessions. Yoga principles uh, include yam that is good conduct, uh, niyam which is about self discipline, asana which are postures, pranayam which is mindful breathing and breathe regulation. Pratyahar that is detachment from the senses or inner withdrawal, dharana which is concentrating or mental focus, dhyan which is meditation or mindful focus on the present and samadhi which is the ultimate uh, attainment of the yogic practices, original balanced condition as being defined in the uh, Professor Kiran Kumar's paper. These concepts have received much attention in positive psychology as well. That is why in this course positive psychology and yoga are intermeshed. Yoga is means to achieve various aspects of positive psychology like flourishing, nourishment of life, happiness, satisfaction, higher level of compassion, empathy, gratitude, respect toward both human and non-human relationship. So, there is an integration and we are going to examine that and understand that integration more and more in this course. Yoga being a holistic in nature offers a comprehensive means to enhance the psychology of well-being by achieving mastery at all levels of human personality. We are going to have extensive assessment, we are anyway going on those who have registered for the course must have started receiving the psychometric assessment links, they must have been directed to a website or an app where they must be taking uh, uh, psych psychometric assessments and they must also be started, they must have also started getting the interpretation of these scores. This kind of self reflection is very important to progress in this course, not just as a passive listener, but as an active participant in this course. These are some of the uh, references, you can have a look at it 
and these are there in the uh, course pack in the course introduction given on the NPTEL site as well. So, you can read up more about it in the slides also uh, adequate references were mentioned which those who are interested uh, to know more about those topics can visit and can benefit.